This week on Pangea Piercing, we go through my body modifications. The one you've all been waiting for. So I got my tongue cut in half. That was, I want to say 2001. Just had it cut on four or five times so far. I think I'm done with it, but uh, interesting times. Also got this scar on my chest. This is my only scarification. Uh, it's an autopsy scar. Uh, it's really fun to f people a lot. I've taken it off in front of many girls and told them I've woken up on the autopsy table and they totally believe it. You see this face they give me, it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the piercings now. First one, this earlobe, got that when I was 14, was my first piercing. And it just kind of blew up from there, went over to my other earlobe. Over here, got this sick uh, three-point industrial. That was by Miss Amber Pascal, she's not a piercer anymore. Zero gauge flats, done by Mr. Steve Joyner. Uh, conch piercings, those are 12 gauge. Those are once again by Miss Amber Pascal. Uh, this ear, once again, zero gauge flat, earlobe, 12 gauge conch, sweet tri snug, done by Mr. Variety Daily. Uh, the gentleman that apprenticed me. On my face, I got seven in my mouth, starting off with the cheeks, got eight gauge cheek piercings done by Steve Joyner. Outside set of my lip piercings, those were done by Variety Daily. The vertical labret there is once again Mr. Bariah Daly. The inside lip piercings, those are Amber Pascal. My bridge piercing here, uh, that was my first actually professional piercing done at a shop. I was 15 years old. It was done by a guy named Todd, who uh, actually apprenticed Scott Bars of Oracle. My nostrils, high nostrils, those were done by Pierre. It's only piercings Pierre has done on me since I've been here. And got a two gauge septum which was done by a lady named Shauna, who apprenticed Amber Pascal, and 14 gauge septral, which is uh, quite rare. Nipple piercings, uh, currently 10 gauge. I got those when I was 16 years old. There is an apodrabi as well as my only genital piercing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on to the tattoos. We're gonna, I guess, work from the bottom down, which is where I started. Outside right calf got this tribal dragon here. My skin is so dry. I apologize um, But that was done by mr. Richard Friedman. That was my first tattoo. It's my 18th birthday one uh, Inside here This was done by his apprentice Derek Youngberg uh, last time I talked to him. He had a shop or a tattoo shop slash gallery in Portland, Oregon Rich's daughter Slash apprentice did that. That was her first color piece, and that's the only word I have tattooed on me. Is evil. This little Yano mommy chick right here was uh, done by Mr. Michael Ashworth. He uh, in Houston, Texas. He uh, actually he's only been tattooing for like five years or so. He's going to be a really big name here in the future. My Torian emblem was uh, done by a fellow named Brandon Lee. Um, that's all I want to say about that, really. This guy over here was uh, more Celtic stuff done by Pat Fish. I got this when I was 19, went to California. Wanted to get tattooed by someone when I was there. On my chest, I got a piece by Brent Osborne. It's a pentagram with wings and a wolf in the center. It's my only band-related tattoo, I guess. Um, comes from a black metal band from Sweden called Marduk. That's what's up. <laughs> Also on my chest, I got some biomech stuff from was being done by Nate Beavers. We're by no means finished. Uh, it's gonna be going up my neck, down my right arm to my hand. On my left arm here, y'all have seen a bit of that as it's been getting done. My piece by Leo Zuluwada, the Polynesian tribal stuffs. And on the inside of that hand, I got the card suit done by Cliff. Uh, 
a buddy of mine back in College Station. He's a badass too. I think that's all my tattoos. I don't really have a whole lot. Alrighty, so we're, we're going through my jewelry collection today. Random balls, and I actually made most of this stuff here. These sweet spike balls here, barbells, other balls, dome balls. Some of y'all guys gonna know what those dome balls are for. Uh, all these guys right here are various bars for my cheeks, because your cheeks get fat and go down, and get fat and go down, and get fat and go down. Um, some sweet Niobian rings I made, curve bars, more balls, sweet golden lip nails. I made during my time at the Sweet Pangea. Um, some cuts, some spikes I wear on my lips occasionally. Uh, also, y'all have seen a bit of my uh, septum stuff as well, my custom septum jewelry. Um, I have a couple of those myself that I made for myself. This one right here was actually the first one that I ever made. Um, actually, the person that told me how to do these started this off. Uh, his name is Punk Ralph Jeff, He's from Houston, Texas. Um, what up, PRJ? Uh, <laughs> it's another one here, and I got to kind of custom make my uh, custom custom make my septum pieces because of my septal, I guess. Um, only septum pieces I can wear shit that I make because I don't know of anyone else that makes jewelry for the septum and the septal to go together. But what's going down here? I got this thread in the center there that is actually underneath, you know, the surface of the bar. So just line that up and screw my septal into that. Um, that one's like that, this one, and this guy here. Uh, and also, Sweet Cheeks pair here. Um, I usually just wear this for shows, mainly because I can't talk really. Um, I can, you can understand me, but it's not fun. I sound really funny because of the bar going through. This guy right here, uh, my sweet teardrop ring. This thing is so old. Uh, I used to wear that guy in my bridge. These guys, some custom ear weights. And I got three sets of cherry bombs. I love cherry bombs. These guys are fucking heavy. These are ones right here. Probably the ones I wear the most are my favorite. Some spiked guys for my flats. Pierre actually gave those to me years and years and years and years ago. And razor blades. Those guys are down my vista. Steve Hayworth. Right here I have various plugs that's used for stretching throughout the years. Uh, septum piece right here. This is a four gauge septum piece. I got that at Enigma in San Diego. These are some three quarter inch water buffalo horns horn spirals. Got these during my time at Torian. I'm not actually sure what company they came from. Uh, more water buffalo horn stuff here that I've outgrown, or it's broken, or I'm missing one. These guys right here, these are some stone rings. I got those at 23rd Street Body Piercing in Oklahoma City. Uh, did a show there once for uh, Jason King's 10 year anniversary for his shop. Plugged the plug collection. These guys here, um, came from industrial strength when they were doing their glass. They're no longer doing glass. Uh, these guys here are from the German Wolfgang. Uh, I got a little Oracle collection going on. The Diamondback Rattler plugs here. Rutilated quartz. Also got some rutilated in my quartz in my flats. Also from Oracle. Geode plugs. Oracle. It's ocean Wave Turquoise. Oracle. Uh, these plugs here I uh, got from this dude in Texas that uh, went to a lot of conventions but uh, it's a desert ironwood with a uh, walrus ivory. The bling, these are one inch princess cut CZ eyelets from uh, Nata Metal. Those are super hot. Opalites here. Glass black glass with uh, more opals. Unfortunately, those are too big for me to wear. One inch single flares here from IS. These plugs here, little bug plugs with the glittery shits. Those and the septum piece right here I got from Dandeland. 
gorilla glass here. The f***ing lava plugs. I don't remember what they call these things. I should know this. I'm fired. <laughs> these guys right here. Uh, so, Hippo 2 is ivory. Got these from Diablo Organics. These are Crocs. Check out the details on that inside the mouth. The filigree on the inside there. That's some of my jewelry though. What I got on my face, the sweet black opals, what I rock a lot these days. I love the black opals. They've become my favorite. Um, there's still some places in my ears to put them in. We'll get to it one day. Next week, I don't know what the f is going on, but if you guys leave comments on my nonsense is going on here, leave comments. I will talk to you and reply. We can talk about stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. Subscribe. Free piercing day. We need more peoples. Y'all can follow me at Twitter at Pangea Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> he, oh needs to, he needs to drop further than that. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Let me turn it on. <laughs>